Hello, my name is Wes Harris. I'm Chief Operations Officer of Precision Mechanical Inc. located in Winchester, Kentucky. Uh, a lot of you just simply know us as PMI. Uh, we are a custom fabricator and construction company uh, specializing in the food, beverage, and pharmaceutical markets, primarily working for manufacturers. So we um, have a background in um, fabricating and supplying uh, sanitary style devices that are used um, in this sort of industry, not quite the medical industry, but has very similar standards. So what we're looking at here is, is PMI's endotracheal intubation box. And the purpose of this box uh, is to protect medical staff who is intubating someone. Um, during the intubation process, um, the medical staff experiences an exponential increase in exposure to this virus um, while they're intubating someone. So we were contacted by doctors start about two weeks ago and they wanted us to help design something that would uh, help encapsulate them. There's been ideas out there uh, before. Uh, one, there's a company in California called Thalia uh, that's making a great product. Some of the ideas came from their uh, site in conjunction with others. Um, also local doctors, uh, Bruce um, Kostelnik, uh, Dr. Andrew Pacetti, and Dr. Eric Modamian have had some um, advice as well. Very helpful things. So <clears throat> what this box does is, is when the patient is being intubated, it's a covering device to protect the medical staff. A lot of times the people use plastic draped over it. Um, and, and we have another version I'll get to here in a minute using shrink wrap. So a plastic covering is put a variety of different types and styles. Um, the physician or person performing the intubation comes through the holes in the back. Uh, on each side of the patient's head are the instruments that are already placed on the bed before the box goes down. There are small uh, semi-circular holes um, in each side of the box. Um, there is also a vacuum port on the top to help pull a negative pressure through the box while it's, uh, while it's being used. And then also, I'll step around here, there is a version um, of the box that I just referenced where imagine the box being set over top of the patient using just regular plastic wrap, clean wrap, um, you know, whatever the hospital has available. Uh, you can see it, it'll, uh, it's flexible enough to go over the patient. You can still use some added plastic if you want, but the biggest benefit is, is that when it's wrapped, the doctor can shove their hand and then now you have a, a tight seal through here uh, to help with the negative pressure and uh, exposure. So the boxes are made of acrylic. Uh, they're heat formed. Um, they're very cleanable. Uh, not a lot of crooks and crevices. Um, and if you're interested in a box and you want to learn more about availability and pricing, then you can go to PMIKY.com. Uh, that's basically the precision uh, initials for Precision Mechanical Inc. So it'd be PMIKY.com. There's a contact tab where you can submit an inquiry online that will go to a lot of people here in the company, or you can always just call the phone number and ask about intubation boxes, and we can give you all the information that we have available at that time. So hope this uh, demonstration helps, and God bless the healthcare workers on the front lines every day having to deal with this situation. Hope this, hope this helps them in some way, shape, or form.